Okay, so it has been three days that these raw ingredients have been steeped in that boiled water. So I'm going to filter this out and I'm going to dilute the raw batch with this filtered water tea, essentially, and see how the Amaro tastes. I'm also going to dilute it down with a little bit of sweetener, but it's going to be predominantly water, a little bit of sweetener that helps bring the alcohol level down. Uh, so let's see. It's a time to make a mara, yes, play and not tomorrow. If you like a bit of taste, that is the time you will not wait. Hey. Look at that color. That's just water with the raw ingredients steeped inside of it. It's just a golden color. Excellent filtering. Well done. We're going for filter four now. You've impressed me. <laughs> Say thank you to your herbs and roots and leaves. Thank you very much. I have a good feeling about you. Filter slowing down. Wow, starting to starting to hurt. I get it. Yeah, four and a half runs. That's a new personal record on the RTP scale. This filter, RTP level ten. Came to party, party the whole party. Stayed after everyone went to bed, helped clean up, made breakfast, gave me a kiss. Mm. Thank you, Filter. There's a lot of birds that live in the tree right outside our home. Hello, birds. Let's do the old transfer. Feel the lines for the RTP. Sniff test. Bland. Mm. Still wants to go. Boy, oh, I'm going to tell everyone about you. Give it one little feel. Oof. I will give you an honorable burying. I'm going to filter the rest, and I'll see you in a minute. So I have strained out all of the water. It's a beautiful color. It's been filtered. I'm going to give it a little taste now. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, science kit. Let's give it a, the old tea a taste. How interesting. Mmm. Cool. Okay. That's just the water. There's no alcohol in there. But let's now start doing some dilution science. Did a little math. So I have four cups of the raw stuff right here. This is the alcohol. It's at 60% alcohol right now, 120 proof. I want to bring it down to around 32% alcohol or 64. Arbitrary number. A lot of the Amaro that I like is a bit on the higher end of the Amaro spectrum. They usually range from like 20 to 40-ish, low 40s. I'm going to go for like a mid 30s, low 30s just to... I think that's like a good entry level um, potency level. In order to get it down to that 32% level, I need, for the four cups, I need 3.25 cups of dilution to bring it down from 60% to 32%. I also need to figure out the balance between water and sweetener. So I think a two to one ratio of water to sweetener is where I'm going to go or just around two to one, so 2.25 cups of water and one cup of sweetener. I think that's my move. That's one cup. Let's give it an old taste. Stir it. Whoa, still very strong. Let's do the cup of sweetener. And the sweetener is half sugar, half water. So there's even more water in there. Here we go. Changes the color a lot. Probably because it's like an unfiltered solution. However, we can always filter it again. We probably will need to filter it again. Ma! Soup song! I'm in from the fields, ma. 
Dang kitties coming for their milk. Ma. Mm. That's all the sweetness I want. I'm already getting that like feeling. Stopping with that. It's a very interesting color. It's not very pretty. David Bly, the Bill Nye of Cocktail Science. Hello. These are fun. Hmm. <sighs> not as citrusy as the other batch, but that's because of the Brussels sprout. Because right now it's at about like a 35, 36% alcohol, which is in that range, that healthy range of Amari. But um, try the light cube. I don't want to make it too sweet, but I'm wondering if that could help. So let's do one ounce of simple and one ounce of the water. Perfect. So this is technically at 33%, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, please do. Imagine this thing broke in here, all the glass. All of this for but I just added a, a little capful of this organic peppermint extract that will help with the, the upfront aroma and some of the finish, I'm hoping, and also just to bring out some of the... I'll stop doing that while I'm talking. Uh, it'll bring out some of the mint that I've been using. Thanks. Let's give it a taste now. Let's smell. Definitely a lot mintier. Maybe too much. Oops. That was so little. That's nice. This is on the much bitter end. This is a 33% Amaro, which is on the higher end, considering a lot of the entry ones are around 20%. It's a high alcohol level for an Amaro. It's quite bitter. This is not an entry level Amaro, but I think this is a good Amaro. By George, I think I've done it. Cue the Bill Withers. Awesome. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple days, see if anything happens, let the mint actually like settle in. And then I wanna filter it out one more time. I don't know what color this is. This is a wild color. Not very appetizing. I'd call this puce on the Pantone scale. Um, but maybe puce is in. Maybe puce is the color of 2020, isn't it not? So the process I just did of like a two and a half week process cuts down what I thought I had to do. Those early videos I was thinking I had to leave, like, let it steep for months to years at a time and that the aging process was part of the cachet of an Amaro, which perhaps, but not necessarily. And if I can make an equally good Amaro, arguably, even more drinkable in more than half the time. Great. That means I can just be churning out batches left and right. Maybe the next step is designing a cocktail to go with this batch. Hmm. Any thoughts? Any thoughts on cocktails? I'll think of something. If you have any ideas off the bat, hit me up. I'm trying to pioneer this shoe Amaro. Hope I've done it. Hope I've done it. Hope I've done it. Until next time.
It's time to make a powder yesterday and not tomorrow. If you like a bit of taste, and it's a time you will not wait. Hey. Well, I've only got three of these pipettes now. <laughs> <laughs>